So I'm gonna start off with our names first. My name is Miss Vanessa. And I'm Miss DeMarco. And we're gonna help you guys with whatever you're gonna need today. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into these white pens that you guys see around you, and we're gonna pick up the baby animal that's inside and tell you a few things about them, okay? So I'm gonna start off with my two friends over here. So over here we have two little teddy bears. Are they little teddy bears? No, these are two little puppies and they're two Shih Tzu puppies, they're sisters, and they're 10 weeks old today. This is Gracie, and this is Macy, and they love to play. So when you guys come in to visit them, you can jump into the corral three friends at a time. You don't need to sit down, but if you do want to hold them, we do ask that you have a seat with them, okay? They do love to cuddle and they love to kiss, and there's a lot of little toys for them to play tug of war with. So just remember to be nice and gentle with them. Sound good to you guys? All right. And now let's turn over here, let's see. We have, you might make a little bit of noise when I pick them up, okay? What do we have here? A little piggy, you're right. His name is Oscar, and Oscar is three months old today. He's called the Vietnamese pot belly pig. And you can't really tell right now because he's not making too many noises, but he's really scared of heights. So I'm gonna put him down. But when you guys come in to visit Oscar, you guys can come in three friends at a time. You don't need to sit down. However, let's keep him right on the ground so he doesn't get scared. But are any of you guys good at belly rubs? Do I have any friends that are good at belly rubs? Yeah, he loves belly rubs. So if you give him a really good belly rub, he might just flop over like a little puppy and fall asleep. All right, and then back here, what do we have here, guys? What's this? A goat, you're right, this is a goat. It's a funny looking goat though, right? Yeah, it kind of resembles a sheep. This one's called an Angora goat, which is why she has this pretty curly hair, and the older she gets, the longer and curlier her hair's gonna get, so we're gonna have to give her haircuts. But her name is Angie, and what's Angie wearing? What's this? A diaper. Has anybody ever seen a goat with a diaper before? Yeah, well, it doesn't happen too often, but Angie's not potty trained, so she has to wear a little diaper when we go on the road with her. But she's very, very sweet. She's two months old, and you guys are welcome to go visit her three friends at a time. You don't need to sit down. Just remember that she's a, just a baby, so we gotta be very gentle with her. And now let's turn to see what babies you guys get to hold all by yourself. So what do I have here? It's little bunnies. We have, we have a bunch of pretty little bunnies. A lot of them are different colors and different shapes and you guys get to hold them all. The only thing is when you're holding any of our babies, it's really, really important that we're always sitting down just like you are now, okay? Let's see what else we get to hold. What's this? A kitten. A kitten. We have six beautiful kitties for you guys to hold today. The only thing is that there's a lot more friends than six, so we're gonna make sure that we're really good sharers today, right? Yeah, one second, sweetie, okay? And then, what else do we have over here? What's this? What's this funny looking thing? A bird, what was that? A chicken, you're right. This is called a Japanese silky chicken. And what's really special about her is that even though she has these white feathers on the outside, she actually has black skin and black bones underneath, kind of like a polar bear. Not only that, 
but she likes to put on pretty blue earrings every day. And she grows feathers from the top of her head down to the tippy tip of her toes. And when she gets older, anybody know what she's gonna look like? What do you think? Yeah, you got it. Wow. And this over here, her name is Sugar. And Sugar is our eight month old Japanese silky chicken. And she's very sweet. Can anybody guess why we call her Sugar? Well, kind of. One reason is actually because she's white like sugar, and the second reason was just because of what I just said. She's sweet as sugar. So she doesn't peck, she doesn't bite, she's very nice, and for that reason, she's the queen of our cage. So she sits right up here. If any of you guys wanna come over and say hello to her while we're here, you're more than welcome to. But if you'd like to hold her, ask Mr. Marco and myself, and we'll wrap her up like our other babies, and you guys can hold them.